welcome, 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 um, to another one of you, my friend on YouTube, obviously, so that they be in this subscribe to the channel, not subscribe it, subscribe it, subscribe it, pause the video, so go back, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification, and very, very imperative, say, I will turn on notification, what you do all, of course, and they be in, of course, I'm going to show you, share link, I'm going to show you, analysis, now, I'm going to my friend on YouTube, thank you to everybody, um, that been sharing their link, you know, it's going on very, very well, once a big thank you to all of you, uh, and then, uh, we back again, yeah, a lot of analysis, a lot to unpack for you, Dimsa Hari. We give you the best, the best, the best. It doesn't get any better from here. I mean, in terms of analysis, consistently, you are see on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Obviously, if you missed out this weekend, yeah, then you've missed out on a lot. A lot of things happen in the world of sports. I was on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. You brought the best of analysis and now, um, give you some very, very tactical insight inside game that course versus Chelsea and Arsenal. You won't come here. Spoke about Barcelona, spoke about Real Madrid, spoke about all the other teams of Vivi Manfred on YouTube. It's here up what's up, buddy? Then let's stick and stay, let's get the drum rolling. Me and me, me and me, come on, big brie, big brie, big brie. And my house of Vivi Manfred on YouTube. First stop, first stop. Chelsea have been very smart. And see, the smartness of Chelsea and yet. Just the mere thing. I think say at the back one, Chelsea for now, yeah, we have not really spoken about that much. I mean, we've spoken about it, but any as much as maybe we should have spoken about. Hey, how they have managed players. The management of players is very, very important in a long season spell. Of course, you're talking about the one part. The first part essentially saying yeah, almost two teams are back football conference, the back football league. You don't force people to play. Twice a week, thrice a week, and I be increase your load. You know. Managing of the load is very, very important to Chelsea for you know, these games and more two games in a week. So now consistently people are seeing him. Romeo Lavia and more two games in a week. Consistently people are seeing him. Westy Fofana on both two games in a week. Consistently people are seeing him. Uti Enzo Mareska. Enzo say, oh no. Ope Westy Fofana boy in Asem. And he's in love with him because in June, you know, there's a possibility that Westy would have to play with in pain. For the rest of the career but what is doing exactly that without complaining focusing on the job and getting the job done our children it will be a better to say yes who power in the household name or chelsea but say oh but some other players that have been solid and resolute at chelsea media will give them credit for the job that they are doing you will talk about moises kaisido you will talk about wesley fofana and then you talk about your friend levi cole they have been rock solid they were children and then you give them a lot of credit you understand that's one, one one part of it. But see, two days ago, and at the list of the various players almost all were international break never out. Now, my insight is that Cesar list never out. What Chelsea does is that they have a meeting. Um, we have a technical committee meeting or um, medical team meeting. Now, in some meeting, they look at players that uh, they would want to go and players that would not let them to go. Now, in the context of the fact that they don't want to let players be to say Wesley Mo, Copa Mamo, um, Levi Kowal Mo, players on me in Japan, be exposed to a lot of injuries. Now, there was an interview after the Chelsea game against Arsenal. And now, uh, interview on the catcher Wesley Mo, and I said, What you said? When you call out the play of France, you don't say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. But because of the schedule, you now what Chelsea, you know, anyhow, on the injury, you see anything, me San Conco Boma France, he wants to stay, do the recovery at Copa and then get into better shape, then go on and play um, for the subsequent games after the international break. Use the time to rest and relax and not go and travel with the French national team. Now, it was in that meeting that Chelsea for a make his decision. The doctors, um, Wesley Fofana, the medical, technical team led by Enzo Maresca, and in the assistants, now, they make that decision say they are not going to allow the players to just wake up and go on international break especially when they are struggling to be fit especially when they are not playing two or three times in a week i feel about overload you know about two matches in a week you won't share as well as you would expect you to take off the player no? they don't want that it's it what's the performance like this when you're the french call up he's not going to go on to go and play for the label of france same for Romeo lavia when you're the belgium call up he's not going to go and play for for the red devils of, of belgium same the two other english players Hey, Cole Palmer. Now, after the game against Arsenal, Cole Palmer was seen limping. 
Now I say, but to go and catch that time, I'm not free park or something. And Chelsea decided to say no. They're also going to keep Kopama, assess him, and then they will not put him through the rigorous international break games. Some bad travel across any side man. He's not going to allow them go. Same for Brentford friend Romeo Lavia. Of course, other players, Enzo Fernandez, Portuguese guys, you know, Pedro Neto, many other they, they would have to go and play for them because they seem to be fit. They have not had any injury issues beyond assistance now, and then they want to go on and go and play. Of course, see. And when I make can say Chelsea are third, third on the English Premier table, and I'm saying say last time by this time, not Chelsea, about same number of games, eleven games. Not Chelsea got sixteenth, sixteenth position. After eleven games, Chelsea are in the third position with nineteen points. In fact, last last season. Chelsea Ebo almost 16 games and some only 19 points and 16 games and now compare it where Chelsea have come from. Anything I make I say for a lot of the people who are Chelsea fans are almost bashing Enzo Maes Kasi who were a coward and he could have done this, he could have done that. I didn't know when you see, I didn't know once Sammy make a crap, I didn't know my Enzo Bobino. All of those things I understand. Chelsea they have been progress. Progress from where they were last season, from progress to where they are now. Yes. Yesterday, somebody replied to me and said that one point is one point, and essentially, eh, just one point. And I agree, but in the context of where the club was at the beginning of the season, not even the most optimistic Chelsea fan, and now catch and say Chelsea were going to go on and they were going to play in the top half of the season, let alone be in third position, not over for serious. A lot of people won't take you serious for that in that regard, but here is the team performing creditably, creditably well. And again, Chelsea are about the second or third most difficult set of fixtures since the beginning of the season. About leader of the table, about uh, defending champions, about Arsenal, the second, about Manchester United, the boogie side of Cornwall, about, about, about Newcastle, about Brighton and Hover, about Nottingham Forest. Almost all of these teams that I've mentioned to you are in the top half of the season. Nottingham Forest was in the top four just last week. Then Brighton and Hove Albion, Fabian Hezala, an excellent job of Brighton and Hove Albion. They beat Manchester City. Bournemouth, they have been solid, rock solid, beat Manchester City. Not they have, like, she teams that Chelsea young boy, you know. And consistently, they seem to be delivering. And whilst doing that, Enzo Maris had found, has found a specific way of play that suits his native, you know. When they are playing against Arsenal, they are not scared to play up from the back, they are not scared to be patient. When they go are going to leave up, they are not scared to control the game, they are not scared to impose themselves in games. That's the quality of the team that Enzo Maresca has put together as a stance now. So, I mean, you can have your reservations like I do on say, okay, fine, why don't you sometimes go full ballistic in attack? You're the quality, play two very good house place players, but Enzo Fernandez, Boko Palma, left house place, right house place, play. Oh, if you want to drop maybe um, Noni Madweke, Boromio Lavia, any boys, Kaiseru on a cheek, Lavi, Kaiseru in your box to box, and Lavia, and boy, and build up. Do those things. Like, get it done. But at the end of the day, you would always acknowledge the fact that, you know, have had a lot of progress assistance now. And they seem to be performing very, 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 very well. Given where the team was last season, any people who will do this season, you will have to give them a lot of credit. A lot of it. And for me, one of the things that's very important, and before we react on one seven, is that you watch a Chelsea team, and Enzo Maresca tends to prefer defensive balance to attacking balance. And my church me several times about Romeo Lavi and Net and the Moisca Sedo together as a double pivot. Now that means that Sekopama Air Bar, you can't play Enzo Fernandez. You have to play Kopama alone. Now, because Chelsea a pair box midfield now, or they be control field field, and until they be a, the right back or the left back, and recently a the right back in Malo Gusto, we would have to come into the right house space. So no man be control ball no harm. So now Chelsea can form a box midfield because the base of the box no a Lavia and a Caicedo, then the top of the box a be Kupama, and a Malo Gusto. Now the plan is simple. 
Chelsea person will have enough numbers, numerical superiority will finish the The middle of the park, and I say the engine of the park is so important to them, say they don't always want to lose out the numbers. In the old boy, even with a five mil foot component, he wants to come there and have numbers. Send so, him if other players come close into proximity and you have a lot of passing options and it's going to be easy. My new team, I'm not even saying that any boy need be more. People are saying, say, oh, I'm not even booby. And I've said several times, say, I want Ezo to play. Who should the game against Arsenal? The one thing that a lot of the Chelsea players were not doing was to play the ball into the central spaces for them to attack. Go back and look at that picture of how his timeline is wired on the ball. Kopama was even out, or oh, oh, the left hand side, or oh, out. On your just about to get aspects now. Why? Because consistently all through the game, he had not received the ball in those zones. Until Pedro Neto takes the initiative, attacks the zone, find the ball there, and then strike it home. So for me, it's very important to get the attacking balance as well. And one thing is important. I think it's also in name maybe as Enzo Maeska. It's Michel improving next season as the season goes on. I mean, I mean, as after the international breakup. Yes, uh, defensive balance, no any attacking balance, no. it has to be prioritized. But Chelsea played very tough games. Maybe the subsequent games are hard for Chelsea to play. Oshie, after international break, uh, games at Chelsea were, well, yeah, games that can be, na 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 I mean, navigated with a little bit of an, no, not too much of an ease, no disrespect to them. But any games are a bit too tough for Chelsea to deal with as a stance now. Because, of course, with international break, but they are relatively easier games as compared to the games that were boy before the international break. Then after the international break on the 23rd of November, Chelsea will be able to Leicester City at 11 12 30 pm. Next week, no, the week before the conference day, I'll go back against Headingham um, on the 28th. Then Premier League in December, about Chelsea Aston Villa, about 1st December, no, about 4th December. Again, look at the fixture legs and the conjectures in December. We about Southampton away at the St. Jim, um, at the, at the um, St. Mary's Park. No, I can't wait to Torian Mosper also when we'll play against Ange Postacoglu, Torian Mosper side away. Then in the Conference League again against Astana away. Then in the Premier League against Brentford, they will feel London Derby. Strong one that you, you, you can't take for granted. Then of course, Chelsea against Shamrock Rovers, they will feel in the Conference League. Then Everton, all, all of them, all of them in the month of December. 26, um, Fulham, um, Epswich, Terriers. Um, then of course undecided matches also on in 2025 Crystal Palace money and that and that tells you how congested the official is this. It says you might say Oma Kupama Monko England National Team DT Oma Levi Kolema England National Team DT. Their plan is simple not to go and put the boys in harm's way. Own job on your recovery or cover. Then they can go on and prepare and then play the subsequent games because after the international break and because those are the matches that are important. Some matches after the international break, you know, they are super super important, you know, because they are close to each other. Who keep it small momentum? You'll be able to get results and then you'll grow into it. You'll be able to be one of the best teams in English Premier League. You get all of the results are open, which is very very important. Now, of course, um, like telling another make another thing is uh, Rhys James and Malo goes to roll. I saw in the second half against Arsenal say Malo ain't me yes I had any like Malo roll no. say so, Udru house space one with the attacking tether he's a little bit ineffective in fact in the second half Ateta decided not to let worry too much about Malo Gusto because boy I can't answer on him he would mean she didn't find me behind the house space so. and I think that's more reason why Chelsea would have to check it one other thing that I am particularly uncomfortable about and he said because of this role, Chelsea, would have, Chelsea has been playing around Jeff and Kupama in the left house space. I think that they are not platforming him well, and they're good enough. Um, Enzo Maes can understand that as well, both Kupama back in the right house space. No keep it cold or hot. Now, if you don't see me control games, you don't see me bubble on it to the extent that Cole can now understand exactly what he's, what he's playing for in the right house space. That's where you get the best out of Kupama, not in the left house space. And I think these are some of the things I said Enzo Maes can me share. Uh, now, it's very, very important, and uh, you look at those things, and it's very, very important. It's something that Chelsea will have to do, and then we should Premier League top scorers table now. Still, uh, Ellen Haaland and Nasro Brian Bomo, that were eight goals, also had a second after 11 games. Mohamed Salah after 11 games, that were eight goals. Yohan West after eight games, that was seven goals. Cool Palmer after 11 games, that was seven goals. Liam Dilap, that was six goals. Nicolas Jackson was six goals. Danny Welbeck, six goals. Uh, Matthias Cunha, oh, 
five goals also for Wolverhampton Wanderers as it stands now in terms of the number of games um, that were on them. And there was an there was there was there was a metric that I changed on. And I want to go on with it. Lavia and make you more combined tackles and interceptions than Moses Caicedo. Lavia have a fewer games, so it is easier for his 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 um his ratio not to be a little bit higher than compared to a brighter friend of Moses Caicedo. Midfoot marvels and also in terms of players, Moses Caicedo and a brighter friend Romeo Lavia. Minutes played, no Romeo Lavia about two hundred and seventy nine. Moy about nine hundred and ninety seven. Tackles per game, um, Lavia 3.2, Moise Cassidy 3.4, interceptions per game 2.3, Moise Cassidy 1.5, combined on 5.5, and of course, Abrantia uh, Efreno, Moise Cassidy 5.0, and a very, very important in that regard. I've um, said Chelsea players are very important, and it's, it, it's important to say Kupa Mabebo in that right house space. On That's where Chelsea will get the best out of Abrantia Efreno, cool Palmer as the season goes on. Of course, and now Barca for anti assembly. What we are hearing, sir, Branti FN, Lamin Yamal, a out for three weeks. Lamin Yamal for FC Barcelona, a out for three weeks. Our FC Barcelona now, um, only a little bit of a knock before we also said that game. But Hansi Fleck decided Senka of a body in the second half now. Whilst he was playing in the whilst he said, Omoko, Omo, Omo Traveler Cup Sociedad at the, at the San Sebastiano, they decided to say they don't want to raise a brand to FN of La Mina Mal. Um, it was an ankle problem, and Tibas Afono decided some back here a little bit of a test. And now, okay, test me, you know. What has happened? And it's a brand to FN of La Mina Mal. Basa said he is going to sit out for the next three weeks. Um, so two weeks in the international break, and then one week. The first game of Barca after international break, my brand friend Lamin Yamal and Bobby. I don't know. I, I don't believe the conversation say Lamin Yamal is a player on your good, on your good. Uh, a Barca are not good without Lamin Yamal. I don't think so. I just think say on the day against so say that so say that we're a very very solid team. I'm not say Barca here. I'm not a very very aggressive. They made it. They didn't make it easy for Barcelona. I mean, Barca are a very good team. Pedri, Gavi, Muna, Bobby, Frankie de Jong, Rafinha. Robert Lewandowski, I mean Femi Lopez, these are all very good players in the Barca team. But it was just that on the day, we also say that we're excellent. We're very, very good on and off the board. We're very aggressive in winning duels, very, very aggressive in playing for it. And then they made it almost impossible, almost difficult for FC Barcelona to control the game. And for me, I think that was the difference maker. Not because Lamin Yamal and Bobby. The Barca team, yes, Lamin Yamal is a reference point or an important player. Um, he gives them a lot of things. I mean, he's somebody that can create things and then make things happen when he's wearing the Barcelona jersey. But it, regardless of all of that, one of the things that's important is that whilst Lamin is solid in that regard, you need to understand that the Barca team is a complete team. I mean, Hansen Flick is a German. There's no way he's going to be, build a team that is just totally defend, dependent or overly dependent on just one man. Um, Hansi Flake will come in, will make sure so we'll be a structure, almost will be a machine behind, will get a job done. Um, in the transfer market, so it will be said Chelsea. I mean, it is said Chelsea, this is one person who will compare center backs as backup every show team. And one of the things they are looking out for is aggressive center back. Now, Chelsea for all, I just said, who should be to say, Tossing a dread be you now. She be no be like she now. She acts with the sasa. These are the three backup center backs of what Chelsea team in. but all of them are not like as aggressive as Wesley Fofana. You say, I'm going to be very aggressive. I'm going to step into tackle. I'm going to need dwells. No, I'm going to be more proactive. And the last time we see Wesley Fofana interview, now Fofana saw no, or in a dog, and they went and they abandoned for level. I call like the cat. So essentially, they are saying that they need to do more. They need to buy somebody. I'll be team. About the shit team on who's here more aggressive. In the other hand, Wesley Fofana any effective player. Then they have a more aggressive profile. Then the other ones can be back up to the other guys. I want them. I want the team, and that's something that you're selecting off at FC Barcelona. One of the things that Barcelona want to do is say, "How much it?" I see Frankfurt winger, left winger in front of Omar Mamouche. He has been on serious form. I mean, free kicks, goals for Frankfurt. He has been solid. Um, or Barcelona close of about forty-five million. Our Bundesliga and for FC Frankfurt and Barca are looking at Omar Mamouche um, as a player or very versatile for a bit of my boss center forward, a bit of my boss on the wing, a bit of my boss centrally. He can create for them as well. And of course, because of his set piece specialist and so on, they are thinking, say, say Mamouche Bar, he can also help them in scoring some set pieces and then it's going to make Barca a little bit more dynamic with how they get their goals, which is very, very important, of course. Uh, and now, according to sports, El Portugal, Dario Sport, Dario Sport said, Bass's long-term priority signing for center forward, Air Brighton friend Ellen Haaland. 
but the club's economic situation has forced them to consider the targets too. Obviously, so in the last few weeks, a lot of the clubs are clamoring around the brand of Victor Jokeresh and Elena Haaland. Now, of course, Social Social Bastona, the main center for the old team here, Robert Lewandowski, you know, he's aged somewhere around 37, 36 years of age. And people think that Lewandowski ain't in the future of Barcelona, which is rightly so, and they need a young center for Barca for Kofa, Brantef and Victor Roque, every Brazil band. He hasn't really delivered, and Barca for have taken him on loan to go and play uh, um, um, at Betis now. He has been doing fairly well. Barca know that they need a big name center for that will give them some goals. And Victor Jokeresh, Dean Ebem, Brantef and Ellen Hall, and Dean Ebem. Now, mind you, these two players will not go for cheap. Victor Jokeresh, he will go for cheap. Ellen Haaland, he will go for cheap. And Barca furnish it almost fine economic situation. Now. It's, it's a little bit unlikely so many are branching for Nelly Haller. Maybe they will try and look at to be this in front of Victor Jokeresh and see if they can get him in their team. A very, very important one of one. Of course, um, Lamin Yama, Medical Boswama said Lamin there, um, a Prano will play into He's not going to join even the uh, the Spanish national team, the La Rua. No, and over Kobe is going to go on and then make sure say, over here in the recovery need and he retains after the international break. One week after the international break, you know, I mean, over there, I mean, is a very, very important player for FC Barcelona. But what a day um, this weekend it was for Real Madrid. Sad times for more players, no. Uh, Oshia Obi to say Abrantia and your friend in Melee Town in injury situation. Abrantia, uh, Vinicius Junior free match and Vinny just went onto the bench and all uh, Bisa Doctor no, in Spanish. Uh, and then I told, and then I told Abrantia your friend in Melee Town. Why are now? Is he going to be okay? Then he was told, so Abrantia your friend in Melee Town looks as if he's a rapture. The AC on the beam in the meniscus area. In TIA, not so good of a news. For team and friend in Real Madrid and Venetius Junior or yeah, Brazil and just like Edam Meletau, you know, he would have loved to have his countryman on the team, but then Edam Meletau is injured and he's going to be out for a very, very long time. And Ocean Barca, they, Madrid, they still have a lot of injuries. Danny Cavallari injured from an ACL, um, the, uh, David Alaba, and retaining fully from Onwangasani ACL, Thibaut Couture, so in a relapse, he's back. Um, he, he has gone back um, to the treatment table. Ocean Atisiaka, Jesus Valero, Mo. Oh, where children who can play the game and then maybe some academy boys in the last time Carl Ancelotti tries to be so abrante friend of Frank Garcia so they want to use some of these players to be playing all the Spanish La Liga and they can make up for all the injuries now and it's important Sebas Madrid for will begin to get it in the Madrid goal contribution list most goal contribution first see Real Madrid this season this season Venezuela you know, was 17 goals and assists Mbappe or 10 goals and assists um, Federico Valverde, oh, five goals and assists. Um, Federico Gosh, oh, five goals and assists. Jude, oh, five goals and assists. And that is the separation of the number of goals and assists. Or one. Just incoming, a brand new friend, Jonathan Tarr, eh, one part of the players, I had say, so possibly they can come to Madrid and then give cover to the back of the kind of players. Now, oh, hold on, um, interest in me, and it's not good. And the last time I told you about Lekiba, I also a eh, the French national, French national team player. Who will possibly come in? There are names like Breme who can also come in on bit uh, Real Madrid team at centre back. And now Fabrizio Roman was reporting said Gelson Bremer, our Real Madrid centre back Leicester. So among um, the specific clause I woman in 2025 on um, meeting me and I mean I not branch of friend Bremer. I joined team my friend Real Madrid, but nothing will happen because of his ACL injury. Bremer and so in an ACL injury. As it stands now, making it difficult for Madrid for to also go and get him already. Almost a lot of players who have ACL. If Bremen also were back with ACL there, then that's a bad one. Still, Trent Alexander Arnold ain't signing a contract extension you know, for Team Ayafreno at Liverpool, and it is leaving a lot of room for speculation. In fact, most people in Spain and in Madrid could want them are saying, say, Abrantia, your friend Trent Alexander Arnold will not sign his contract extension. With Liverpool, and he's going to join Team Friend Real Madrid. Now, the back story is simple. So, Osha Abrantia, your friend of Trent Alexander, and he is close friends to Abrantia friend Jude Bellingham. And of course, Omunia and Scouts, some of them are good friends in the, in the English national team. And then Trent, in your some slight injury this week, and on call the English national team come. But then he has been close to him. People believe strongly, say because they are friends, Abrantia friend of Jude Bellingham. And tapping up on a brand here, your friend Trent Alexander Arnold, and he wants to make sure somebody joining Real Madrid. Madrid needs a right back. Madrid, a right back, big one for their team. Somebody 
that they can use um, I mean next to a branch of any Danny Carvajal because they need that quality at the back they need a rights back home team them and still Trent Alexander not our unresolved contrast situation with team my friend will leave up on as a stance now still I'm always always our contrast situation now. and that's that forced the conversation so one she near Trent is going to go on Trent Alexander Arnold is on Real Madrid's targets number one two or three in terms of Real Madrid targets now they are branching up the friend of Trent Alexander Arnold will still remain see so if I branch your friend of Trent they will call him Marco Bama and my team my friend of Real Madrid and now most goals and assists in 2024 top leagues of Vinicius our 46 goals and assists uh, in the whole of 2024, a lot of quality. Madrid, Injilis, no, Rodrigo Goes, Lucas Vasquez, Oriani Chimeni, Thibaut Courtois, Eda Meletao, Dani Kamayal, and Davide Alaba. All of these players are uh, injured on Madrid bench, you know, and a good one. Of course, Rodrigo Goes, so injured, you know, Ebe Messi, Leganes giving up an international break. Ebe Messi, Liverpool, Ebe Messi, Getafe, Ebe Messi, Athletic Club, Ebe Messi, Girona, Ebe Messi, Atalanta, Ebe Messi, Rayo Vallecano. And an international cup final, international cup final. No? Oh, hold on, no. these are all games. Up, uh, a brand here, your friend of what did you go as a member? Mr. Madrid, the sticks meter by Sabrant here, friend of Vinicius. I mean, Lucas Vasquez, it's where price not going to be there. Madrid plan on a clear now. Say this year, only you see the youth team to make sure some mania cover for my current team. No, oh, hold on, because a lot of the injuries, oh, hold on, it's not good for them, and we'll have to go and turn to the youth team no? for them to get some cover. For their team, no, or oh, them, which is very, very, very important. Oh, of course, um, this is where we draw the curtains on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Fifi Manfred on YouTube uh, for an excellent, extensive conversation. I oh, want see. So maybe I may catch you on this. I want to subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on notification. In the notification, turn it. Do choose all. There's a Chelsea player all forcing move out of Chelsea, and they are a bunch of Freddie Christopher. And Kuku, and Kuku possibly may go me leave Chelsea, and I will not be surprised seeing Kuku free Chelsea because in Kuku believes that or your top, 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 top CAM and or your limited game time at Chelsea. Also, the game against Arsenal, like Kuku came on around the 88 minutes or so, just about four or five minutes of our boy. Definitely, Kuku is not going to be happy. He wants to play some more. And anything, a lot of the news in France from Fabrice Hawkins are coming out to see his adventure friend Christopher and Kuku. It's not going to be playing. It's may, may, most likely maybe leaving Chelsea. Whether in January and I say in the summer, there is a possibility. If Christopher and Kuku were to move, he would not favor alone. He would prefer to look for another challenge. Chelsea, on their part, could be open to departure, giving the bottleneck at the front with Jao Felix and Mihailo Modric possibly all staying over Chelsea. You know, there may be a possibility of Brent and Christopher and Kuku may lead Chelsea in the coming summers, in the coming transfer and according to the keep in an air reporting and it was specifically by a branch of friend of Fabrice Hawking and then all make his news you now on a branch of friend of Christopher and Kuku said so possibly in Kuku may leave Chelsea Manchester United have shown interest in Christopher and Kuku at the moment the interested party has not started discussions with his club with his view a possible move this winter or the next summer for Christopher in Kuku possibility Set over free team up the friend in Chelsea. This is where we draw the cats and actually on TV, my friend on YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing. Uh, in the we will get back with you. We'll have a conversation in the afternoon by 12, and of course, at 6 p.m. Until then, stick and stay. Do take care. We'll be back. Bye bye.